uh, undergoes the process of spermatogenesis. In other words, you're going to take a spermatogonium and produce four immature spermatozoa. That basically happens in the gonad, which is the testis right here. Now, note that I've removed a lot of that connective tissue that basically surrounds it because on the testis, we have this area right here. You can basically see it right here. It's kind of like almost like a glandular area. This is known as the epididymis, all right? So what happens is the testis produces the immature sperm. Now, the sperm, look very, they look like regular sperm, all right? But they cannot fertilize the eggs yet. So what happens is we send the sperm, uh, the immature sperm, to the epididymis, all right? And so in the epididymis, that's where they become mature, all right? Now, once you ejaculate, you're going to go up, and we're going to look at the other testes because, again, look, this is basically coated by connective tissue. It's kind of hard to see the difference between the testis and the epididymis, but once we remove the connective tissue, you can actually see the difference between the testis and the epididymis. This tube right here, this tube right here is known as the vas deferens, all right? Sometimes it's known as the ductus deferens, all right? And so it'll basically lead, it'll basically encircle over the urinary bladder and then come out this organ right here. What is that? The penis. That's the penis, all right? That's the penis, it goes all right? All the way up so, to the urinary bladder? Yes, if you notice for, for guys, all right, especially for males, all right? It's going to come up the vast deference.